What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to tour some of the lower priced homes we have here in Central Florida. Now guys, when I say lower priced homes, I don't mean I think these prices are low because I definitely don't, but they are some of the lowest priced homes we have here to offer in my market that are move in ready. So I'm gonna take you guys through a resale home and also a new construction home as well. For those of you guys who are looking to purchase soon, obviously a lot of people are still purchasing homes with interest rates and affordability being at the worst point right now. But for those of you guys who are looking to purchase in the future, I wanted to give you guys a firsthand look at what these properties look like here in today's market. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. All right guys, so this property is located in Kissimmee, Florida. It was built in 2004 and it has 1,731 square feet of interior space. It's on a 0 0.18 acre lot. I'm gonna give you a quick look at the street view. Now, this property has also had a recent price reduction of $20,000. It was originally listed on the market for $349,000. It is now on the market, guys, for $329,000. So we are going in the right direction here. Um, it looks like the obviously the landscaping needs to be needs to be fixed up and maintained but i think you know once that's all done it will look really really good so anyways let's go ahead and check it out here's just a quick look at the front of the house it has had some recent upgrades it features four bedrooms you have two full baths you have a monthly hoa of 23 dollars a month annual taxes of three thousand and one dollar a year so let's go ahead and take a quick tour all right guys so as we get in we have the living room and then we have the dining room just to the back of that tile floor uh, brand new tile flooring and then you have new interior paint as well um, you have the primary suite just right here to the left hand side so we'll go ahead and tour this one first you do have access to the backyard just through these sliding glass doors right here brand new carpet um, i do like how they did stage it just so you get an idea of you know what your furniture would look like in this kind of space so let's go ahead and continue and we'll find uh the closets here which uh there's closet number one and then we have a walk-in closet just right here to the right hand side double sinks soaker tub walk-in shower and then you should have the toilet just right there so anyways as we move forward i do have I do like how they have multiple ways to get to the backyard. That's another sliding glass door. And then you have a third one just right to the other side. But here is a look at the kitchen space. And then to the right hand side of that, we'll find the washer and dryer area just right here. It's a pretty good, nice space to do that. Then just through this door right here, guys, we have the two car garage. Kitchen, we have granite countertops, wood cabinets. Um, there's a look at the dishwasher and then we have the sink just right there. Uh, just behind that, we have our second living room and then also the third sliding glass door, which I told you that leads out to the backyard space as well. So here's a look at this whole area here. It's a pretty nice, I do like this floor plan. It's definitely not bad at all. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the second bedroom because the remaining Three bedrooms are going to be on this side of the house. Good size bedroom. Then we have bedroom number three. Do like how they have two closets. And guys, we'll find our fourth and final bedroom just right here. And then we'll go to our last and final full bath. So you got a shower tub combo and then that door there leads out to 
the backyard space. So let me just show you the backyard real quick before we conclude our tour. It's love bug season, guys, so you probably see a lot of love bugs. But check out this uh, undercover space here. It's a really, really nice spacious area. Um, and then you also have a really, really nice sized backyard. So a lot of positives in this house, guys. You got a brand new roof. Uh, definitely some things to do, obviously, but uh, prices are going down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and we'll see you at the next property. All right, guys. So we're at our second property in Lakeland, Florida. This is actually a brand new home. It'd be perfect for a first time home buyer or even just someone looking for a house under $300,000. It is currently on the market for $263,000. You have 1,199 square feet of interior space, but it feels really, really open in the house. So it doesn't feel as small as it is, as it's under 1,200 square feet. It's on a 0 0.10 acre lot and it has zero HOA, features three bedrooms, two full baths. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. As you can see from the outside, it can use some landscaping, uh, just some touch-ups, just because it's been raining quite a bit here in Florida over the summer. So it's just a little bit, grass grows really, really quick here. So, but I do like the front porch, as you can see here, it's completely undercover, has some nice columns with some uh, brick accent as well. Um, just put some chairs out, just relax. I think it's it's got some uh, it's got some good features, and I do love the curb appeal of this house. So let's go ahead and take a quick tour of this home. All right, folks. So as we get in, you notice you have a pretty nice long hallway. Um, it's pretty wide as well, so it feels really really good. Um, you have the kitchen right there and then you have the living room just to the left hand side But we have our first two bedrooms just to the right hand side, which we'll go ahead and check out now You have brand new carpet and uh, Interior paint as well. So everything is, is just is ready to go. There's really nothing you have to do and uh, There's a look at the closet there and just in between these two bedrooms we'll find the uh, first full bath where you have quartz countertops. You got a shower tub combo. I love the tile that they used. I love this color right here. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. I'm definitely going to look that up, but I do love that color. Uh, but then we'll just keep moving on to bed bedroom number two. And these bedrooms are actually pretty good size. I'm actually impressed with this. I probably would want to recheck the square footage of the house because it definitely feels a lot bigger than 1199 square feet to the left hand side guys we'll find the single car garage it looks like a little bit oversized so you have a little bit extra room here as well i believe actually this is where the washer and dryer would be going right there as you see the hookups you have the water heater just right next to it And as we move forward, we'll find the kitchen where you have the quartz countertops. There's a look at the sink. Um, no appliances as of right now, but those will be installed at a later date. There's a look at the cabinets. You got some nice white wood cabinets. Then to the opposite side, you have the dishwasher. And this is where the pantry would go, but you know, obviously it's very, very, very little pantry. And then just overlooking, you'll find the living room space. So it's a pretty nice space here. Um, windows are nice. You got pretty big windows that let in a lot of natural light. And then just off that guys, we have the third and final bedroom, which will be the primary suite. I'll just go ahead and go to this corner right here so I can show you guys the size of this bedroom. Really, really good sized bedroom, especially for a nice little house like this. Walk-in closet. And then to conclude the tour of the bedroom, we'll just go ahead and tour the primary bath, single sink, and then you just have the walk-in shower. So not too bad. I mean, you have everything you need in a house like this, especially at this price point with where the real estate market is right now. Um, Go out to the back, show you guys the backyard. So look at that. So you do have a yard, goes all the way up to uh, 
this area here because this is a trail. So if it was me, I would just fully fence it, make it a nice little little area, nice and private. But overall, guys, not a bad house, uh, especially at this price point. It's uh, not too much more that you can ask for. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this tour and uh, that will be all. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any kind of value out of this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.